Hello to all my lovely ladies and gentlemen out there. My name is Claudine and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. For today's video, I wanted to come full circle with my whole wallet story that has evolved on my channel over the last couple of weeks. If you didn't watch the two videos I posted in the previous weeks, I purchased a Chanel zip around wallet off the Fashion File website. In my first video, I posted my first impressions. I did the whole unboxing and overall was very pleased with what I received. It was in line with what they stated the condition to be and it seemingly appeared to be a great purchase on my end. About a week after, I decided that the wallet was not going to work for me due to a number of reasons, which I did outline in that follow-up video as to why I was returning it. I will link both those videos down below in the comments section if you want to watch them. So with this last video on the subject of wallets, at least for right now, I wanted to share my workhorse wallet, my favorite wallet, the Kate Spade Lacey. This is the item that I use day in, day out, probably 99.99% of the time. I rarely size down. The only time I do really is when I'm carrying a bag that will not accommodate this huge wallet. Otherwise, I just stay in this because I love it. I love how much it holds, what it carries, all that good stuff. Before I dive into the details of this wallet though, I did want to put everyone's mind at ease and let you know that I will be branching out beyond the topic of wallets in the coming weeks. It just was a case of the perfect timing. I ended up buying that wallet off Fashion File and it coincided with the start of this YouTube channel for me. So it worked out to be a great topic and a great subject to cover in my first few episodes on this channel. So once we're done with this particular review, I will probably set the topic of wallets off to the side for at the very least one week, maybe two. And, um, and the only reason I say that is because I do have in mind to review a passport case that can also serve as a wallet. So should that video come up sooner rather than later, uh, forgive me, <laughs> but I promise it's really funny. I am not a big wallet person at all. I'm a handbag person first and foremost. For me, wallets, like I said, it's this baby, 99.99% of the time. The rare cases when I do need to downsize for the sake of the size of the purse I'd be carrying on that given day, I have a couple of options. I pull one of them, I use it, boom, end of story. I by no means have a crazy big collection of wallets. It's, like I said, it's just been the perfect storm as far as timing was concerned. So I just wanted to share that with you. We have more bags and sunglass reviews and, and things like that. Wallets will be done for the most part for now. So now that I've cleared that up with you guys, let's dive into this wallet. All right, let me give you an up close and personal look at this wallet. This particular one was released a few years ago for Valentine's Day. It was a limited edition and I happened to be at the right place at the right time. I just decided to walk into my local Kate Spade and, and check out what they had and saw this beauty and you know paid for it. I wasn't even in the market for one because I had a different Lacey wallet, which I've since sold. Um, but I mean, this is just so beautiful. Look at all this embroidery and, and it's nice Safiano leather, which as you can tell, like I said, I've worked, I've used this like crazy. And can you see any signs of wear with the exception of just some minor fading, it probably isn't even showing on the camera, to the name Kate Spade New York on the wallet. I mean, there are no scratches, it's, it's beautiful. If and when you decide to buy a wallet like this or this exact wallet, I highly recommend Safiano Leather. It's, it makes a wallet so carefree. You know a wallet's gonna be in your purse hitting other items. Go this route, look, it looks brand new. I've been using it forever and a half. Oh, before I get into it, let me tell you the measurements. It is 7.6 inches across, 4 inches in height, and 0.8 in depth. Okay, so inside, it looks a lot like the Chanel one, like I told you, because I, I have a very particular style when it comes to, to wallets. So it's got the three compartments here, and it's got six card slots on either side, as you can see back here and over here as well. And behind each of those card slots is the bill, long bill slot. And then you've got the coin compartment right there. And if all those compartments were not enough for you, you've also got one more exterior pocket down here. 
So it is a very spacious, lovely wallet. I, I adore it. It is, it's the best. I will link down below to the Kate Spade website so you can see the colors and patterns they have available at the moment. Price-wise, it's typically 188 or 198. If I'm not mistaken, this one retailed for 198. This one I purchased on eBay. I don't know, I don't remember what the retail was. I think it was also 198 as well. Um, I actually hopped on the Kate Spade website before filming this video and they actually even had one that was a New York themed wallet that was 158. So it's a very, very affordable option, certainly far more affordable than the Chanel. I still love the Chanel, I still love the thought of it, but it didn't work for me, but it worked for my wallet. Ha, huh. I did not even plan that pun, that is hilarious. Okay, now, showed you this one, this guy was empty. So we'll move on to this one. This is my wallet that I'm using right now. Again, let me show you up close. It's same Safiana leather, it's metallic-y, it's shiny, it's perfect. There is a scratch back here that, where is it? I can't even see in the video. It might actually be dirt. I might need to clean that, um, but it's right here. Oh, there, maybe you can see the faint scratch right there. It's not even a scratch. I honestly think it's dirt that kind of got embedded in the leather. I need to clean it. Other than that, um, as far as where, again, it, it lies with the, with the name here. Um, it's got like a metallic-y finish. You're not gonna see it with this lighting, unfortunately. But, um, you know, like when something is plated in gold, uh, gold, it'll kind of tarnish or wear away and then you see silver. So that's kind of what's happening here. This is a very light pink, you know, hardware that they did to the look of the wallet. And it's obviously wearing away and you're seeing the silver underneath. But aside from that, this is perfection. So you open it up and this is how I've got my bad boy arranged. I don't want to tilt it too much because I don't want the contents to come spilling out, but I've got every single card slot being used here. I have the bill compartment back here that I utilize. I actually don't utilize the bill compartment on the other side. I don't know if anyone else carries a wallet of this size. What do you use the other side for? Comment down below and let me know. Do you put your receipts there? Do you put your other cards there? Maybe some ones that don't fit or that, you know, didn't make the cut for the, for the prime 12 slots in here. I currently just put spare cards in those compartments. If I need an insurance card or a dental card, if I'm going to the doctor, I'll make sure to put it in here. Obviously, you can see I have some receipts here from you know visits to Walgreens and whatnot that have just kind of stayed in here for the last couple of days. That's pretty much it. There isn't there isn't you know much much to speak of as far as the contents of a wallet back here. If um if I have something that I don't want to forget to use like a coupon or I carry my post postage stamps with me at all times because you never know when you might need a stamp. So I put that back here where it's nice and secure so it doesn't accidentally separate from the uh, sticky surface and then compromise, you know, a forever stamp, which is what, 55 cents now? Yeah, so we don't want to, we don't want to lose those. So yeah, that's my wallet. It's, it's a great workhorse. I love, love, love it. You know, it is a big wallet. And like I said in my previous video, I think people are kind of gravitating more toward the smaller wallets, but I'm not one of those people. I really love the large wallet. And you know, when I'm going to work, I'm usually carrying a bigger wallet that can easily accommodate this plus the t 10 other things I'm carrying with me at any given time. So it's really a non-issue for me. That being said, I would like to have a nice, smaller wallet because there are times where I would like to free up that real estate even though I have that space in my bag. I would like a smaller wallet at times so that if and when I decide to carry an even smaller bag, I don't have to downsize from this one. Hopefully it would be small enough where it, you know, it satisfies my my requirements for the week as well as on the weekend. If you have any recommendations for a wallet that is smaller than this, that would serve my purpose for the week as well as the weekend, please do comment down below. Let me know what options are out there. I am certainly open and receptive to other brands, other styles. It would be nice to kind of 
eventually add a smaller wallet to my rotation that can hold it enough and maybe force me to not hold as much as I do carry here. I say I need it all, but really you probably only need 10% of what you're carrying in this wallet anyway. So if you have a good idea or a recommendation for a smaller wallet, please comment down below and let me know. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and be sure to ding that bell so that you are notified the next time I do upload a video. Thank you for watching. Bye.